Hi guys. Well, in this quick little exercise, let me show you a cool way to make borders with gradients around images in Affinity Photo version 2. And I'll be using the iPad, um, which is slightly different from the desktop, but you'll get the idea. So one or the other. Now let's create, for a start, a new document. And I'm going to use a preset I made for printing mugs. Now this is nice and easy and it's a nice large one. Now I've just pinched that in because I want to be able to see the full size. Now the first thing I want to do here is load in an image. So let's go to the stock studio and search for a picture of a city. Fairly straightforward. What have we got in there that looks nice? Now there's one there that I may have used before. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, obviously, scroll that down. That's going to be a, a little bit different in size than the background image. That's all right. I just want to bring that out there. So you can see the focus in the image is still pretty much in the center there. Now, let me just tap outside that so we haven't got that. Now that we've got our image up there, I want to create a border that I can either put in the middle of this image or around it. But this is not just your average border. This is a border that will have a gradient fill. Now, the first thing we need to do is go find our rectangle tool. Let's tap on that. There's our rectangle tool. That's down there. There's lots of different shapes. And you'll see in a moment, you can do this with any shape. But I want to use the rectangle. Now, let's draw out a rectangle. And it's borderless. Never mind the fact that you can put a border in it. I want to leave that at zero at the moment. You can see just there. There's the border. Now, we've got a border there. But up the top, we've also got the border there. Now we can change all those things because what we want is to set our border at a certain size. So let's 10.1. Mm, let's just set that an exact size of 10. Doesn't matter that it's black. Now you can see that the black border is mm, centered, shall we say, or it's aligned either side of the blue line. We want it to align inside the blue line, so we select the middle of those options there. See that one there? There we go. Now we've got our 10 points up there. That's our white line at the top. That's selected there. Now we've got no end points, although the join is round. That's fine. We don't need to worry about caps. And the width is 10. So let's just tap that at the moment to get rid of it. That looks nice. Now we've got... A white, <laughs> we've got a white rectangle with a black border. And that black border we're going to change any moment now. So what we need to do here is select the gradient fill tool. See that there? That's that one there, the fill tool. Why it's called the fill tool, I don't know. When it is actually a gradient. We don't want it solid. Let's go for the drop down. We'll change it to linear. Now you can see because in the context toolbar, fill context is set. We don't want the fill context. Let's go to the line context because we're dealing with the line and we don't want it solid. We want to change that to linear. There we go. Now we've got linear at the top. It's line context. Let's move that bar up to the top and that one down to the bottom. Now you can already see that the board is changing color slightly. Now we've got the bottom dot selected and it's a gray, but let's make that a nice orangey yellow. There we go, that's a bit more yellow. Now select the top one and what complements yellow Yellow, red, let's make it red. There we go, yellow and red. The rest of the images are kind of a reddish colour with a few yellows in there, so that's not bad. Hmm, but how do we get rid of the fill? Well, that's easy. 
we go back here to the fill context and you can see our options here set the fill context to none now there's our border how cool is that now let's just go back there we've got the top layer of the rectangle we've got the bottom layer of our image let's just turn the image off for a moment there's our rectangle there's our image back now you could either be just selecting that there and that's the only part of the image you want with a red border around it how would you get that so okay let's see what happens if we mask that there we go now if you were to export that or crop it all you would have is that that part of the image but i don't want to do that there it is there let's just get our image back there we go because we've got a little bit more work to do on this yet let's put those layers away go back to the move tool we've got our border selected now it's quite difficult to see the edge of that because it's a very black image but to help this i've got snapping set on you can see up there in the top right hand corner snapping is on so let's drag the corners out and you can see it snaps to there snaps to there let's do the same with this one all the way out snaps to there all the way down to there we're just putting a border around the entire image you can see that there isn't that lovely okay that's what we want a border around the image uh, but it looks a bit clunky doesn't it what's a border well it's just a square border there what we want is to go back to our rectangle which is there and you can see that now we've got the line mode up at 10 points there everything's set on the inside the other option we've got here you can see over this side is the radius oops we've got a little i've left a little mark on there that's all right because i've got it, it was trying to put a tiny little rectangle on there because i forgot to select the move tool and touch the screen but you can see where we're at we've got none but what we want to do is set the corner type doesn't actually say it there but that's what we've got let's go for rounded corners and that's what we want a perfectly rounded corner set at 25 percent nice but hmm you say what we've got there is image outside the nice rounded corners and that does look a bit clunky you could spend hours fiddling around with eraser brushes and things like that when you don't need to let's bring back our layers select the image layer drag it up and create a mask now there you go let's get rid of the layers there's our mask you can see that the just before I make any mistakes take my own advice select the move tool there or even select the view tool can't make mistakes there we can en enlarge that and you can see the transparent background is there behind the image now we could export that and have a perfectly rounded cornered image for that one or any other ones you like now almost finished but what i want to do is show you some examples you may have seen them when we first started up so let's go back there don't forget to save your work save as mm, let's call it yeah, city c-i-t-y border and let's call it number three because i've done a few others before let's not get them confused save where am I saving this to? Uh, Dropbox and Affinity Photo. There we go. Now there's another one. You click move. Why you don't click save or file? I don't know. But there you go. Now there's the one we've just done. Ta-da. Right there. There's one I've done previously. Right there. Same deal. There's one I did with a different shape isn't that pretty now your girlfriend or boyfriend is going to look really nice inside one of those hearts now how do i know that it's an image inside a heart just move it out of the mask and there it is there's that that's the original image there's the mask 
Let's put it back inside the mask. Get hold of it. Inside the mask. Perfect. Isn't that lovely? There's one I've done earlier. Perfect. Here's one I did part of that earlier. And you can see that it's just got that part there. What I didn't do on that one, because I wanted to save it for this exercise, is mask it. So we've just got that little bit there. Now, of course, you can make that border any size you like and any colour you like and any gradient you like. And that's it. And, of course, there's another one the same. Slightly different colours. Too nice. Well, that's all there is to it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little exercise. Have some fun with that. Try different shapes.